Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's uh, as painful as the game at Anfield last year for, for me and for us. I thought we played really well today. Um, you know, the the opening stages of the game can't be forgotten by, by me um, in regards to the team's performance and reflection on how the game went. I thought we were excellent. Individual performances were very strong and I just, you know, the sending off almost harms us really in the match. Um, Although the chances were there for us to kill the game, as you say, and I think the second goal changes changes everything. We didn't get it, and you know, then when Nunes comes on, it's it's they're looking for one moment, and they didn't just get one; they got two, and and they took them. Martin Hardy, do you think Terence Trent left arm should have been sent off um, before Fraser At that moment, yeah, I did. Uh, I thought it was a clear second yellow card. Referee didn't agree, and uh, we had to accept that. Does that then alter the game then if he's gone? Possibly, yeah. I mean, it's, it's ironic that I'm saying that we were better 11 v 11 than we were 11 v 10. Um, but yeah, at that moment in time, I thought that was the correct decision. The way the game panned out, is this possibly the lowest you've done as a Newcastle manager when that game finished? Um, yeah, difficult to scale them. But yeah, I think whenever you lose in those circumstances, very late, it's hugely painful. It's um, difficult to take and accept, but you have to. I mean. The deflection off Spence back and then his heel into Nunez's path, it's, that's not something you can describe or think is going to happen in the game. It sets up, it's a great finish, I have to say. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, we, we really at that moment we should maybe accept that we're not going to win the game, but, but definitely don't lose it and we make a mistake and they score again. Craig? Can you sort of analyse the last half hour and you felt almost like 10 v 10 or 11 v 10? What was your thoughts on the Yeah, I think. Possibly, um, but you know, it had a similar feeling for me. Hence, why we tried to change the momentum of the match. I think, you know, Liverpool had a flurry of set plays. They were putting us under pressure in that moment, and we wanted a bit more control. Um, but they're a very, very dangerous counter-attacking team. And you just think back to the game here last year when the the roles were reversed. We had ten men, they had eleven. And we played really, really well that day, uh, and had the best chances of the game with a man less. It can happen. Um, and when you've got players like Salah and Nunes on the pitch, you know they're a huge transition threat, and we knew that would be the case. That's why we were desperate for the second goal to kill the match. Is there anything you would do differently? There's always things you do differently if you don't win the match. That's for sure. Uh, just, uh, what was your take on the red card? Um, yeah, in, in that moment in time, it looked like Alex was going through one on one, but I've only seen it live. I haven't seen it again. George, hi Eddie. What? Managers sort of often say it's more difficult against. Well, I think it's that, of course, they then restrict space, um, defend deep, they're content to let you have the ball, and it was our job then to, to try and create the momentum to win the match and open them up. I, I, we didn't do it at will, we didn't do it regularly enough, but we still had our chances, they were still there, the moments were still there for us to kill the game, and ultimately. We didn't take them, and that's why we we sit here with a defeat. And can you give us an update on Spain, how, how he is being looking? Yeah, it looks like an ankle problem. I don't know how bad it is, but um, certainly we wish him a speedy recovery. Ian? Uh, Anthony Gordon was having one of his best games at Black White Shirt. You have said was a direct opponent. Uh, what, in hindsight, would you have taken him off? In hindsight, as I said, you'd always do things differently, but that's and when you're in my shoes, that's... That's the job you're in, and yeah. Was, was it a case of like the Villa game? You, you made the substitutions, and actually went down, went and laid some Well, down. yeah. I mean, we have to. Uh, I believe this season we have to trust our bench. We have to trust top quality players. I'm putting on Callum Wilson and Harvey Barnes, and Sean Longstaff. You know, Sean was outstanding as as was Callum last year. I can't fear putting them on the pitch in that situation. Top quality players, as is Harvey. So. Now, of course, sometimes when you make those changes, it doesn't go as you you foresee. But also, the the same could have happened, leaving the same players on the pitch. So, that's the game. Lee at the back. And did you think the the gaps closed a little bit? You are getting closer to getting results against the sort of top four teams now. As I sit here now, I, I can't sort of say yes for sure. I thought our performance today was very, very good, but ultimately we've lost the game, and I, I can't then sort of make statements like that, I feel. So but today's a very, very difficult one for me immediately after the game to come here and, and talk, but that's what I have to do. Um, I'm proud of the players 
in, in many ways for what they've delivered today. But we are kicking ourselves for sure that we didn't get something out of the game. Do you think um, you can learn more sometimes from I know it's hard in the aftermath, but do you feel you can learn more sometimes from a narrow defeat than you can in a narrow victory? Well, I think it depends how you view it. I think if we uh, don't take collective responsibility and don't analyse the game properly, then no. But I think if you do those things and always um, take ownership of what's happened, and that includes me and you know all of the players, then I think you can come out of it stronger. Um, and that's what we'll endeavour to do. Okay, Aaron. Yeah, Bruno's been fine. He's trained very well. Um, he was part of the team performance today that was outstanding for half an hour. Um, thought he really played his part in our really good opening to the match. That there's things, as with every player, that you will look at and reflect and try and improve. Jordan? Did you say just on the substitutions, did you feel that like was sort of one round the game and you were sort of cost you again? Uh, Liverpool might see that from their perspective. I can only talk about my my team, and certainly I'm not not going to blame the three subs that came on the pitch as to why we didn't win the match. Absolutely not. They, I don't think they were directly involved in the goals. So that, that that you know that isn't a collective responsibility. That's trying to blame, and we never do that. So now I thought the, the three lads uh, that came on tried to impact the match in the way that we wanted them to. But that that's sometimes football. It goes against you, sometimes it goes for you. Today's a tough one. Okay, Dominic. You mentioned Sven Bobman's potential injury there. Are you almost on your toes to dip back into the transfer market if, if it transpired that was a bad injury? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, speak with the medical team and see how bad Sven's injury is first. Yeah, and just on Lewis Hall, not involved today, how close is he to being involved in that? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's trained with us, but he's uh, not. Uh, Played a game during pre-season, so he's only trained, so he's some way or short of being match fit. Andy Sixsmith. Eddie, we just caught up with Anthony Gordon there, Paul's match. He, he looks, you know, as you'd expect, visibly shell shocked, hurting. What was the atmosphere like in the dressing room there? How much are the players hurting, and what do you do now in the coming days to raise them for a big game against Brighton? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd want them to be hurting after that because we pride ourselves on trying to trying to win first and foremost, and if we can't, then. You know, we, we do everything we can to, to draw the game, and that's certainly a game we shouldn't have lost. Um, I think that my role in this now is to, to calm everything down and try and see perspective. Results will always sway opinions, but as I say, from the first three games we've had, we've been very close to, to more points. We've been very competitive, and there's been some really good signs, but we probably haven't had the points that we deserve. Kieran, to finish. Yeah, my, my initial thought uh, while the game was in motion was I wanted us to be a bit more positive and direct and look for the second goal. I thought we were, but again, that's easy to say from the sideline, but Liverpool are playing um, off the ball, playing quite deep and allowing us to have the ball in front. But I wanted us to, to try and look for that second goal in a more positive way. Um, that was my thought as I was watching the game. Um, and then... I, th I think the management of the, of the game is just in moments. I don't think it was a team thing. It was just a couple, as I say, the ball bounces off Sven twice and falls perfectly for Nunes. I'm not sure we could manage that situation better. We maybe could have um, um, certainly managed the second goal better than the first, I thought. There were a couple of exchanges between Dirk and Cotton and Jason Tindall. Did you feel that competitive bribery on the benches today as well? I think there's a, that's always there, regardless of the opposition. I think there's always that, um, that fight for points between between everybody. Okay, thanks everybody. Thank Cheers. you. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers.